Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on Florida Fish Ori today. I'm gonna try something a little bit different. Uh, the spots I've been normally going out to haven't been producing so well for me lately, so I'm kind of in like a search mode. So today I'm gonna head out to the pipeline. I'm gonna fish exposed parts of the pipe. Um, I don't do that too often. I do like to fish the pipeline, but it's just normally not in the areas that I go to but um and also I would usually have trouble with trigger fish um, in the pipeline they can become a qu quite a big nuisance but and they were a nuisance today um, but I did pretty good so I'm gonna be fishing exposed parts of the pipeline for grouper um, 55 feet of water so I had a great day I got some grouper the pipeline's a very well-known spot for groupers and uh, yeah it was a lot of fun today it wasn't the best day but it was a lot of fun thanks for joining me and I'll see you at the end Good grouper.
red grouper. Twenty inch pipeline gag. It's getting pretty windy out here, so I'm probably gonna have to call it very soon. Basically what I've been doing throughout the day is I've been just testing spots along the pipeline, exposed parts of the pipeline. So far today I've gotten two porgies, probably about four groupers, and a couple of those uh, grunts. I thought there would be more like of a snapper bite along the pipeline, but been a very poor snapper bite. I'm getting hit right now. It's not big stuff. There should be some big groupers on the parts of the pipeline. The pipeline's well known for for having some good groupers on it. Grouper. Oh, oh, good hit. Wow. Shoot. Very good hit. Very good. That, that was a big group. Got a real big one. That's a big gag. Yeah, it's not pulling that much drag now. Yeah, it's a nice gag. Sweet. I don't know if it's a keeper. But on a 5,000 size reel, it's a nice bite.
Groupers are closed, but if they were open, this is a 23 inch fish, so he's still got to go back. Fish on. Whenever you put your fingers in a grouper's uh, gills, be very careful because they'll they'll bone you up pretty good. Yeah, this is not the bait. I just pulled this out of his mouth. I didn't. I didn't actually put that on my hook, so that means they're they're eating the chum that I'm throwing down there. I can't, I can't get them out of my fingers. The steel plate's literally digging into my fingers. I just got a trigger fish. These are actually what I don't like most about the pipeline. It's because often uh, trigger fish can be really tricky though uh you won't feel your bait get hit and all of a sudden be gone but a lot of people don't know this about trigger fish the reason why they call them a trigger fish you see this bony part right here you can't push it down i'm trying very hard to push it down and i can't they stick it up like that but the little back thorn right here if i push it down i can pull the trigger so that's the trigger push it down and you can you can tuck that in but you can't, you can't get that. And then you touch this, it goes right down. So, trigger fish. Fish y'all. Snag. It's a big Key West grunt. Trigger Fish City. Everybody, thanks for joining me again on Florida Fish Rory today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'll see you next time on the water. Peace and tight lines, everybody.